tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Giga Ninja Chikaze! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Josh CCO! You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Wow, well, it's been a rapid rise to prominence, of course, for Giga Chikaze as this round gets underway. When he fought Calvin Gator in the main event to start 2022. He was 7-0 in the UFC, had won nine straight fights overall. And you gotta think eventually he's gonna work his way into a championship fight in the UFC. The Cater fight provided a lot of valuable learning lessons, but he believes he's got a favorable matchup in front of him once again here tonight. Blocked that one. Oh, nice hook by him. Oh, body shot. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time in. Takedown defense holds up. So more output, at least in the early going. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Stuff the takedown, no problem. That strike blocked by Josh Emmett. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, got a protection. That guillotine choke is locked in. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Emmett's back in half foot. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Elbow to the head there, by him. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean, that his head is stunning off the mat. Oh, hammer fist here by Josh Emmett. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston back oh, in the day. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Just over two minutes, round one. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chikadze. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submission of a big ground and pound. So the crowd work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. with that punch. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. One, two there by Josh Emmett. Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate, but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. Well, he continues to manage 
manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Chikadze's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, nice single, yes. Five minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He heard it bad. He went right to the liver. Boom, landed it on the sweet spot. And he was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can pick it back on that one. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter can be trusted. Otherwise, he'll find himself. Oh! Yeah! We get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. All right, so an opportunity goes by the Bulls. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. Now we've got to be here with everything he's doing at him. He should have got the fight finished at that point. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that center cross. Chikadze's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Oh, there's a trip to get the takedown. A submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good for a long time and it is showing in this performance. Emmett's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Emmett. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh, he's hurt. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space. Find places to rest and recover. Get it into the out. Chikadze's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee What's keeping that? a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse as this fight continues. Ground and pound strike there now. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. Go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striker. He is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. It gives him another change, which then it kind of helps him land in the strike.
striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Emmett Zai is closing up. Let's go. Get out first, boys. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice hook by Emmett. Back to the jab now, no good. So much different. This is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh. Two rounds in the stop, books. Stop, stop. All right, incredible drama here in this fight. I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in it, given all that swelling around his eye. We'll see what the cut man can do to stop the swelling here over these 60 seconds. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. Ready. Third yeah. round underway. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Gets to the single collar top. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, lands another puke. Great timing on that double leg. Emmett gets up. He is back on the feet here. Straight right. He misses. Right, so another nice strike by him there. And he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Both fighters exhausted here. Takedown defense is there. Immediately gets the underhook. He's hurt bad. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Emmett. Just missed with the leg kick. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Under three minutes to decide this one. That lead right hand is nasty. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. Oh, oh another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Josh Cece Emmett. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling.